నమస్తే ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ ఫైనల్ పంచ్ కేసీ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ పి బ్లాక్ ఫస్ట్ పియూసీ థర్టీన్త్ అండ్ ఫోర్టీన్త్ గ్రూప్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ఫస్ట్ సినాప్సెస్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ గ్రూప్ థర్టీన్ విల్ సి ద ఎలిమెంట్స్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఆర్ బోరాన్ అల్యూమినియం గ్యాలియం ఇండియం థాలియం నౌ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద న్యూ ఎలిమెంట్ నియోనియం బట్ నో ప్రాపర్టీస్ ఆఫ్ నియోనియం ఈస్ నాట్ దేర్ ఫార్ ద సిలబస్ హెన్స్ రిమెంబర్ వీ హ్ నాట్ డిస్కస్డ్ దట్ so boron aluminum gallium indium thallium we are going to discuss so now atomic radius if you consider generally down the group atomic radius increases but there is a one exception remember boron less than aluminum but aluminum more than gallium this is the exception remember that then less than indium less than thallium there is no exception what is the reason for that when you say the reason is remember aluminum more than gallium the reason is poor shielding effect of 3d orbital the reason for that is remember poor shielding effect of 3d orbital first let me tell you what is a shielding effect so what is shielding effect or screening effect also we will call it as a screening effect also generally what happens is when an electron is present in these shells like this then the electron the nucleus and the last electron between those last electron and the nucleus there will be so many orbitals in between the orbitals will have those electrons right so now the attraction between this electron and the nucleus is determined by these electrons which is present in between so generally what happens is these the electron which is present in between nucleus and the electron they will try to shield they act as a shield between electron and the nucleus because of that reason the attraction decreases that is called as shielding effect which means whenever there is a more shielding effect attraction decreases we know that in the classification of elements i have discussed if the attraction decreases radius increases so shielding effect is in the order remember s more than p more than d more than f generally s orbital will have more shielding effect because of its spherical shape then f orbital will have least shielding effect but now here you can see there is a d orbital present here there is a d orbital present here because of that shielding effect is produced by 3d is less because of the poor shielding effect attraction increases hence remember radius decreases so radius is less for gallium so because of that reason ionization energy <coughs> sorry ionization energy boron more than aluminum less than gallium less than gallium because more than gallium that is size size and ionization energy inverse related gallium more than indium because gallium less than indium but indium less than thallium but here indium less than thallium here also which means thallium is having more ionization energy this is the one exception the reason which is once again same reason but only thing is instead of 3d we will write 4f orbital so here you can see 4f orbitals are there because of that shielding effect of 4f orbital is very less hence remember you are going to observe more ionization energy for that this is the order you have to remember then electronegativity boron is highest electronegativity then aluminum to thallium it decreases remember uh, it increases remember that aluminum is least electronegative element then another important point gallium has extremely low melting point and very high boiling point very important point low melting point <coughs> around 303 kelvin and very high boiling point 2676 kelvin see the difference so because of that reason it is used in measuring high temperatures remember this point very very important then oxidation state generally oxidation state is plus 1 and plus 3 because general configuration is remember ns2 np1 if you remove one electron it become plus 1 if you remove two electron it become plus 3 so now stability of the plus 1 state increases plus 3 decreases always remember lower oxidation state stability increases higher oxidation state decreases because of inert pair effect inert pair effect then plus 1 stability thallium is more boron is less plus 3 stability boron is more thallium is less remember one other important point plus 3 oxidation state thallium act as oxidizing agent very very important point because thallium plus 1 is more stable correct so thallium plus 1 more stable means plus 3 already present but it can which can oh, itself undergo reduction to form plus 1 acting as oxidizing agent remember that point then with reaction what air 
M2O3 type is possible. <coughs> Acidic oxide B2O3 because non-metal. Aluminium and gallium M4 teric because M4 teric elements. So indium and thallium are basic in nature. That is metals. Reaction with water. Boron is not affected by water or steam. But remember red hot boron can decompose steam to form hydrogen gas released. Similarly aluminium also react with steam to form hydrogen gas. But important is this one. Then reaction with acid and base. Reaction with acid and base very important. Remember aluminium. So aluminium react with both acid as well as base that will show its amphoteric nature. So releases hydrogen gas with both acid as well as base. Then reaction with halogen. MX3 type of halide is possible because plus 3 is common oxidation state. Remember all these halides can act as Lewis acid. Lewis acid because they are electron deficient in nature. Then order of Lewis acid if you see BCL3 more than AlCl3 more than GaCl3 more than indium chloride and thallium chloride. Here what I have considered surrounding halogen same and center is different. Remember as the size of the element increases Lewis acid nature decreases. But we will consider another order that is the center remains the same surrounding halogens are different. Now you can see BF3 is having least Lewis acid nature. BI3 is having highest Lewis acid nature. Very very important order. Remember this point in this chapter. So very important order. BI3 is a strong Lewis acid. BF3 is weak Lewis acid. Reason is remember back bonding. Remember back bonding. How this back bonding operates? You see boron and fluorine generally what happens is boron and fluorine. Fluorine is very small. Boron is also very small. Hence this bond length is less. But bond boron and iodine what happens is boron and iodine. So bond length is more because iodine is larger size. Smaller size bond length is less. Larger size bond length is more. So now what happens is boron is having one vacant orbital. Vacant orbital. Because of that reason boron can act as Lewis acid. Remember that. Now fluorine is having lone pair. Correct? Huh? Fluorine is having lone pair. Now what happens is this fluorine will occupy this particular vacant orbital. So that we call it as remember the back bonding. So Lewis acid nature means this vacant orbital should be occupied by <clears throat> some other compound which will donate the electron. But what happens is this space is occupied by itself that fluorine but here iodine also having electron but to overlap remember the the length is more hence it will not form a back bonding easily back bonding strength will be more here less here because of that reason bf3 is weak lewis acid than bi3 <laughs> then remember one thing anhydrous alcl3 deliquescent which means absorb water very easily that is aloh thrice is going to form as aloh thrice is going to form when alcl3 reacts with water so which can also act as alcl3 friedel crafts reaction we know that friedel crafts reagent and also remember exist as dimer in the vapor phase very important dimer in the vapor phase remember aluminium chloride exist as dimer in the vapor phase and because of this it is related to beryllium diagonally diagonally relationship with beryllium then very very important point aluminium aluminium oxide aluminium hydroxide all are amphoteric in nature very very important point remember this point anomalous behavior of boron see some properties I have taken maximum covalency so 4 and here it is 6 the reason for that is remember boron does not have d orbital absence of d orbital but there is a presence of d orbital in other elements now allotropy exhibits boron exhibits but other elements do not exhibit allotropy remember compounds of trialites so only covalent in nature only covalent so these can form ionic or covalent in nature these are monomeric these are polymeric so polymeric means aluminum is dimer but remaining are polymers in nature oxides and hydroxides are remember only acidic in nature boron but this is remember amphoteric or basic very important amphoteric or basic these are the anomalous behavior of boron then see nice flow chart see this is the one flow chart so first time when you see you will feel that it is more confusing but when you go on seeing this remember you will feel that this is the best way to remember this flow chart uh, this particular compounds of borons remember so once again i will tell you so if you want these colorful notes of my handwritten notes 
so my, my handwriting is not that much beautiful but you can adjust with this not that much bad also correct huh? so in this particular case so only if you if your mobile not having a telegram app please uh, download this telegram app in your mobile it is very good app so that in this app i will give you i will give you the link in the description box you can join there you will get all these remember colorful notes of all the chapters which we have completed till now you can download very easily very important so remember it will help you in definitely a short time uh, preparation that is a last minute preparation synopsis it is very best fine compounds of boron i will explain one by one see three compounds of boron we will discuss borax orthoboric acid bth6 see borax first preparation orthoboric acid when na2co3 is added borax is formed this is the only preparation we have arrow mark is there this side means product is this arrow mark is there that side means that is product now the properties when borax is dissolved in water or acidification orthoboric acid is formed remember when borax is heated na2b4o7 this minus water molecule is removed then once again if you heat further it will form nabo2 and b2o3 this is known as borax bead and which is used in the flame test for transition metals important point this is about borax then orthoboric acid see first preparation is over from this acidification of the borax second preparation from bcl3 and 3h2o when it is dissolved we win water bcl3 with water this is called as hydrolysis hydrolysis give rise to orthoboric acid similarly b and boron nitride hydrolysis give rise to boric acid very important what is boron nitride bn remember bn is boron nitride one point about this boron nitride remember once it is was it was asked in neat exam structure similar to graphite how that graphite structure will be there i will tell you in the next page so structure similar to graphite layered structure so boron nitride also undergo hydrolysis forming boric acid so another preparation b2h6 diborane in water forming boric acid diborane in water also forming boric acid now in this case properties when boric acid dissolve in na2co3 borax is formed already over second property when it is heated action of heat first it will form metaboric acid hbo2 remove water from here h3bo3 minus h2o so minus h2o you are going to get metaboric acid metaboric acid when it is heated at 433 kelvin not necessary to remember the temperature leave it so 433 kelvin tetraboric acid h2b4o7 once again if you heat red hot b2o3 anhydrous form there is no water molecule here anhydrous form then very important this part very very important this part don't forget this is a weak lewis acid remember orthoboric acid is a weak lewis acid and remember orthoboric acid is a monobasic acid monobasic acid because it will require one base to neutralize hence it is monobasic acid but very important it is not an arrhenius acid this is lewis acid it is not an arrhenius acid remember arrhenius acid means protic acid proton should be given out but it is not like that see here one example i will give you boh stress reacts with water see it has taken oh minus from the water to form boh 4 times minus 1 plus h plus which means this h plus not from this this h plus is from water remember that h plus is resulted resulted from water hence i can say orthoboric acid is not a uh, arrhenius acid or protic acid remember that and the structure non polar remember hydrogen bonding is present non polar hydrogen bonding and it is a non planar sorry non planar it is not a planar molecule hydrogen bonding is present and boron is here sp through sp2 hybridized boron remember this sp2 hybridized boron here so this is about structure of the boric acid this is a complete idea about orthoboric acid then important diborane see so diborane preparation first one boron trifluoride with lithium hydride lithium hydride or lithium aluminum hydride also you can use you are going to get b2h6 nabh4 with a i2 you are going to get b2h6 these are the two preparation then with reaction with oxygen water ammonia oxygen water and ammonia with water already i have seen i have explained orthoboric acid with oxygen b2o3 and h2o very very important point with oxygen b2o3 with nh3 remember excess of nh3 b2h6 to nh3 very important excess of nh3 b2h6 to nh3 boron adduct we call it as diborane adduct 
but important excess NO3 high temperature boron nitride boron nitride whatever I have told boron nitride that is this excess of NS3 very very important is this one remember when reacts with ammonia at 180 degree forming borazine or borazol it is also called as inorganic benzene remember it is also called as inorganic benzene that is B3N3H6 structure is very similar to benzene hence it is known as inorganic benzene then structure of B2H6 important point structure of B2H6 boron is sp3 hybridized first point to fix in your mind second one it is non planar molecule just like this non planar molecule very important this is the structure remember here two BHB bonds are there this is one and this is one two BHB bonds are three center two electron bond very very important see this you will never see in anywhere such type of bond See, 3 center 2 electron bond because 1, 2, 3, 1 bond means always 2 electron. Remember that. Hence, but 3 centers are there, BHB. Because of that reason, 3 center 2 electron bonds which are perpendicular to the plane. So, these 4 BH bonds are on the plane. These are perpendicular to the plane, remember, and also called as banana bonds. Also called as banana bonds. Very, very important. Remember, 3 center 2 electron bonds are called as banana bonds fine then remaining four bh bonds which are there that are two center two electron bond it is very common everywhere here also two center two electron only two center two electron bond which are on the plane which are on the plane this is about structure of the diborane fix this point in your mind very important see ct very less number of questions are asked from this chapter but neat and ge important remember that then we'll move to group 14 elements Group 14 elements, carbon, silicon, germanium, tin and lead. Psi, right. Atomic radii, see, carbon less than silicon, less than germanium, less than tin, less than lead. No exception. Down the group increases. Ionization energy, there is a one exception. Down the group decreases. Carbon more than silicon, more than germanium, more than tin. But lead is slightly more than tin. That is due to poor shielding effect of 4F orbitals. Once again, you can tell the same reason. Now, electronegativity. Carbon is very very higher than silicon, then silicon to lead almost the same. Carbon is more, silicon to lead almost the same. Important is this part. Even in case of the GE exam it was asked which element does not show allotropy in group 14 except lead all element can show allotropy. Lead does not show allotropy, remember that. Important catenation. Carbon is having very high catenation property. What is catenation my dear students? Catenation is nothing but the ability of the element to link with the similar element. And right? So to form a long chain, remember. So catenation we call it as lead cannot show catenation. Once again you remember lead does not show allotropy. Lead does not show catenation. Carbon more more than silicon, more than germanium, almost equal to tin. Then oxidation state, plus 2 and plus 4, only 2 possibility, because the reason is general configuration is which one? NS2, NP2. When you remove these 2 electron, it attains plus 2 state. When you remove these 2 plus 2, it will form plus 4 state. Plus 2 and plus 4. Once again, plus compounds of plus 4 is generally covalent. Generally, higher oxidation state compounds are covalent. Plus 2 oxidation states are ionic. Lower oxidation states are ionic in nature. See, plus 2 oxidation state stability, plus 2 state stability increases, plus 4 state stability decreases down the group due to inert pair effect. Very important point. Remember, once again, if you see the group, this P block 50, 13 group also, we have told the same, you can see stability of plus 1 lower increases down the group and higher plus 3 decreases down the group due to inert pair effect. Similarly here. So, plus 2 lower increases, plus 4 higher decreases down the group due to inert pair effect. Inert pair effect means what? See here, NS2 electron do not take part in bonding. That is called as inert pair effect. NS2, NP2, if only NP2 take place, plus 2 oxidation state. NS2, NP2 take place, plus 4 oxidation state. But what happens is in this particular case, NS2 does not take part in the bonding. That is because the reason, that is why it is called as inert Two electrons are there, pair. So it is inert pair effect. Then this order you remember, plus two state, lead, lead is more and more stable, carbon is less. Plus four state, carbon is more stable, lead is less. Remember, lead is plus two more stable. When lead plus two more stable, when lead exhibit plus four oxidation state, it acts as a strong oxidizing agent. For example, see, lead PbO2. 
PBO to act as very good oxidizing agent because immediately it will reduce itself to PBO. So plus 4 to plus 2 reduction itself undergo reduction it act as a oxidizing agent. Then remember SN very important 2 plus act as reducing 4 plus act as oxidizing because for tin what happens is for tin almost same stability for plus 2 and plus 4. Hence plus 2 act as reducing plus 4 act as oxidizing agent. Then reaction with air, monoxide and dioxide, two possibility. But remember, this is the monoxide among which SiO it is not, does not form, it is not possible. CO is possible, JeO, SNO, PBO. Nature is very, very, very important. And particularly, CO is neutral in nature, GeO is acidic, SNO and PBO are amphoteric in nature. It is experimental determined. So I, I am not telling this. Remember experimental determined. CO is neutral. GO is acidic. SNO, PBO are amphoteric in nature. Then CO2 and SiO2 are acidic dioxide. GO2, yes, GO2 is less acidic. And SNO2, PBO2 are amphoteric. Important amphoteric oxide. Along with this remember Al2O3 also. Very famous. Al2O3 also amphoteric. I told that. Now reaction with water. Remember very important. Only tin react with a water to form SNO2 plus hydrogen gas is released. Only tin react with water. Then reaction with halogen. MX4, MX2, two possibility. Plus 4 oxidation state, plus 2 oxidation state. Important anomalous behavior. Carbon directly does not form halides. Carbon does not react with the halogen directly. Remember all tetrahalide are covalent in nature. Except these two. All tetrahalides are covalent. Once again higher oxidation states are covalent. Lower are ionic. So except PBBr4, PBI4, why it is given? See, the reason is PBBr4 and PBI4 does not exist here. There is a twist in the story. So PBBr4 and I4 does not exist. What is the reason? See, for lead, first of all, plus 4 is not stable. Correct? For lead, plus first of all, plus 4 is not stable. So if it exhibit plus 4 means Br and I, should be more oxidizing power. See, PBO4 exists, PBO2 plus 4 oxidation state. Why it exists? Because oxidizing agent, oxygen, very good oxidizing agent. Like that, remember here also, if you see PBF4 and PBCL4 exist. <coughs> these two will exist. But these two will does not exist, Br4, I4. Reason F and Cls are strong oxidizing agent. But Br and I are weak oxidizing nature. When it is weak oxidizing nature, remember, it will not having ability to oxidize the lead plus 2 to plus 4. Because of that reason, remember, weak oxidizing nature of Br4 and I4, it does not exist. Then in another, last time, JE question also, it was asked in this. Out of the following, which does not undergo hydrolysis. Remember, CCl4 does not undergo hydrolysis. But SiCl4 undergo hydrolysis. Not only SiCl4, remaining all the tetrahalides exhibit uh, this hydrolytic nature. The reason for that is absence of d orbitals in carbon. Carbon cannot extend its covalent nature. So only four bonds are possible for this. Remember, because of that reason, SiCl4 can have d orbital in its valence shell. Hence, it can form more than four bonds also. Because of that reason, CCl4 does not undergo hydrolysis. Fix this point in your mind. Then anomalous behavior of carbon. So anomalous behavior of carbon, remember, hardness, very hard. Diamond, less hard. Other elements. Melting and boiling point, very high, low. Maximum covalency, 4 for carbon and remaining can exhibit up to 6 because of the presence of d orbitals. Multiple bond, important. P pi, P pi, only more extent. P pi, P pi is very easily possible with carbon. Double bond, triple bond, then double bond, oh, oh, this uh, S like that, remember. P pi, P pi, more possibility. P pi, D pi, less possibility. P pi, D pi possible, but less extent it is possible. So multiple bond formed very easily for carbon. Catenation very high and low here. Remember that point. Retrohalide does not undergo hydrolysis. Just now I have discussed and undergo hydrolysis because of D orbitals presence. Fine. Next, allotropes of carbon. See, diamond, graphite and fullerene. Diamond, hardest one. Remember this very important point. 3D network sp3 hybridized carbon, sp3 hybridized carbon, important, does not conduct electricity. Already we know all these things, just once again I am revising this. 
See, very high melting point due to the strong covalent bond. We know that. Used in cutting, grinding, drilling equipment and jewellery also you can use. Diamond, hardest substance known. Then graphite, sp2 hybridization, remember, good conductor of electricity, that is the main important thing. So, layered structure, hexagonal layered structure, in which layers are held by Van der Waals forces, very important. Soft and greasy in nature, soft and greasy, so, which is used as a lubricants. Thermodynamically more stable, remember that point, thermodynamically more stable, that is graphite. Used as electrolyte moderator for fast moving electrons in the nuclear reactor. Used as a uh, electrodes because of the conductor of electricity and elect fast moving electrons it will control that is in the nuclear reactor. These are important points about graphite. Then fillering prepared by heating graphite in an electric arc at high temperature. So remember presence of the inert gases. Cage like structure, cage like structure in that remember so C60 will have soccer ball, football type structure. Important point is this, in C60 fillerene, remember, 26 membered ring, 12 5 membered ring, important point. 26 member, 12 5 member and SP2 hybridized carbon in the fillerene, remember, SP2 hybridized carbon in the fillerene and there will be presence of alternate double bond and it is because of that double bond, resonance will be present in that. That is about fillerene and very simple carbon monoxide and dioxide. See carbon monoxide, SP hybridized we know that C plus O2 CO, incomplete combustion, HCOOH, formic acid, when it undergo reaction with constant esters, so dehydrating agent, CO is going to form. Important is these two, very, very important. Water gas composition, CO plus H2, producer gas composition, CO plus N2, remember this point. How? Carbon, red hot carbon react with steam to form CO plus H2. Red hot carbon react with air, it is from air to form CO plus N2, that is producer gas. Then we know that carbon monoxide is highly poisonous because it is having more affinity for hemoglobin. Act as reducing agent, very important and metallurgy also we have seen. Act as Lewis base and it is a very strong ligand. Carbon dioxide, SP hybridization, CO2 structure is like this, CO2 plus CO2, CaCO3, limestone when it is heated, CO plus CO2. It was asked once in the exam, remember dry ice is nothing but solid CO2, remember that. Then yes, I want to. Silicon, four compounds we will discuss. Silica, it is called as a silica or quads also we can call it as. Yes, silica structure will be like this. It is a covalent nature and three dimensional network. One silicon surrounded by four oxygen. Remember, four oxygen and one oxygen surrounded by two silicon. So one ox silicon surrounded by four oxygen and one oxygen surrounded by two silicon. Remember that structure. SiO2 is less reactive, but it will react with NaOH and HF very easily. With NaOH forming sodium silicate, with HF it is forming SiFO4. Remember that point. Then uses. Silica gel is used as a drying agent, very important point. Used in the chromatography as an adsorbent. Quads, in that form, quads form physioelectric material. It was asked last year JE exam, remember? Physioelectric material, Antandre. So when we pressurize on the, that crystal of quads, it will conduct electricity. Physo means, the physo means pressure. Pre under pressure, it will conduct electricity. Physioelectric material used in accurate clocks, modern radio, televisions, etc. And amorphous form, Kaiselger, we call it as, used in water purifying plants. Then second one, silicone. Silicone's general formula, you remember, R2SiO n times. R2SiO n times. So water repellent, biocompatible. Biocompatible means which will un, uh, adjust with the biological tissues very easily. Because of that reason, it is used in surgical and cosmic, uh, cosmetic plants. Heat, oxidizing, reducing, acid base resistant. Remember, it is resistant for all and non-polar. Because of that reason, it is used as a sealant. Sealant, so waterproofing, greases, electrical insulators, etc. Important uses by giving these uses in NEET 2000, uh, I hope 18 or 17, the question was asked. Then finally, silicates. General formula is SiO4, 4 minus. Exist in chain form, cyclic form, 3D network form, different forms are possible. The detail is not there for CET syllabus. Don't worry about that. Two man-made silicate, you remember, silic cement and glass, important. Then geolite. Geolites are nothing but 3D network silicates, important. They are silicates only, but three-dimensional silicates in which one or more silicon is replaced by aluminum atom, aluminum three plus atom. 
so that negative charge is balanced by potassium, sodium, calcium ions. Use as, used as a water softening agent and ZSM5 is used as a shape selective catalysis. Important ZSM5 shape selective catalysis which is petroleum cracking also it can be used. So these are the important points about uh, this P block element group number 15. 13 and 14 so 15 to 18 already I have covered in the so second PUC P block element part so uh, this is about synopsis part now we will discuss about the important the previous year question as I told very less number of questions were asked from this particular chapter now we will see those yes now group number 13 and 14 we are going to discuss yes first one in the reaction BOH thrice plus 2H2O, BOH 4 times minus 1 plus H3O plus. BOH thrice functions as. See, BOH thrice functions as what I told. So, definitely it is a Lewis acid. Remember Lewis acid because here OH, H2O means remember here OH minus OH minus plus H3O plus. This 2H2 I can write it as. S3O plus OH minus, OH minus is taken by BOH thrice to form BOH 4 times nothing but ability of the substance to attract the lone pair of electron that is called as Lewis acid. So very important point. Dry ice 2018 question, dry ice is called, which one is the correct answer? Very easily you can tell, dry ice is solid carbon dioxide remember. Then third one. A CS3 thrice SiCl is used in during polymerization of organosilicons because CS3 thrice SiCl it is based on the silicon which I told silicon remember polymer silicones silicones so what is the reason for during polymerization of organosilicons because remember here 2018 asked question the reason for that is the chain length of organosilicon polymer can be controlled by adding this so generally what happens is so CS3 thrice is there hence remember one side the chain is cut so which means the one side chain will not grow another side chain is going to grow because of that reason you can say this is the very best which is during polymerization we can use remaining is not the correct answer so improves quality and yield it is not the answer does not block the end terminal it, it will block the end terminal because of that is nothing but this one it will block hence does not block is wrong act as a catalyst during the polymerization also it is wrong this is about third question only five questions are there here as I told, very less number of questions. See, 2016, only one question also it is not asked. 2017 one, 18 one, 19 one, 15 one. Addition of mineral acid to an aqueous solution of borax, the following compound is formed. So borax, we know that borax Na2B4O7. So mineral acid, nothing but H2O plus HCl or you can add H2 plus H2SO4 also. You are going to see H3BO3 plus NaCl. S3BO3 that is orthoboric acid is the answer. So that flow chart which, which is uh, explained I have explained that you have to see. Then correct statement of this. This is based on the Lewis acid nature once again. 2015 asked question. See in case of the uh, boron halides Bi3 is weakest Lewis acid. Correct? Huh? No. Correct statement we required. No because Lewis acid order I have written already. Lewis acid order if you remember. So Bi3 more than B B R three more than B C L three more than B F three, right? So B F three is the weakest Lewis acid among the boron halides. So B F three is the weakest Lewis acid among the boron halides. That is the uh, this uh, this this is also correct answer. Actually, uh, that may be my my mistake. Remember. So two questions it is there. Once again, I will cross check that. So till then you can read that the fifth question in that particular case so oh, because two options will be correct if that was the case because the fourth one also you can say there is a maximum p pi p pi back bonding in bf3 that is actually the correct answer right so in case of this i will cross check once oh, that is oh, strongest lewis acid see that is my mistake weakest it is not the option option is given is strongest lewis acid strongest lewis acid see See here we require correct statement, correct? Huh? BI3 is weakest Lewis acid. Definitely it is wrong because BI3 is strongest Lewis acid. BF3 is the strongest Lewis acid. Wrong because BF3 is the weakest Lewis acid. Out of two, one answer. There is a minimum P pi P pi back bonding. There is a maximum P pi P pi back bonding. So answer for this is maximum P pi P pi back bonding in BF3. 
So answer for this question is D. Minimum P pi P pi is wrong. This is about P block elements. If you like the video, comment if you have any doubts in this particular case. So if you want the colorful notes, as I told Telegram, you have to download and you have to join the group. I have given the link in the description box. Addition to that, if you are visited to my channel for the first time, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.